Good morning, tank buddies. I'm sorry about the lack of video over the weekend. Um, basically, I was required to be sociable, and yeah, there you go. The moral of the story is sometimes, sometimes you've got to be sociable and actually interact with real people in the real world, rather than real people in, I guess, the virtual world. Anyway, um, I've been thinking about what kind of tank I want to get. I got this five extra garage slots on Friday and I think it's time to sort of reevaluate what tanks I want to try out next. Beforehand I've kind of been I guess very limited by the number of garage slots as to how many tanks I can get. I've got some gold squirreled away in my account but I don't really want to spend it on unlocking more garage slots. I'd rather kind of save up for a nice premium tank when they're on sale or something. I don't know. Um, the two kind of big candidates at the moment are the things exploding behind me and the tanks in front of me. Um, the, I think it's the A43 which which is the Russian tier 6 medium. It sort of branches off... Okay. It sort of branches off of the T-34 I think and then goes down its own route. There's some weird looking tanks there that I want to try out. I don't know if they're any good but they're weird looking and that means that I want to give them a try at least once. The other thing I'd like to try is I keep seeing those um, like the American heavies and I always go man they look pretty good they seem to do what heavy tanks do pretty well. I always have difficulties sort of penetrating them speaking of difficulties I'm just going to get shot by everyone, aren't I? That's him. Well, at least T-3485 buddy is heavily held the hill. Um, get him back up a bit. Let him get shot. Change my perspective on things. But yeah, so the American Heavy Line seems like a good candidate for something fun to try. Um, Part of the problem though is having to deal with the M3 Lee, which I never finished sort of grinding through for the obvious reasons of it's a fucking M3 Lee. Um, ooh. <laughs> this is a pretty tough fight for the hill. There's no SPGs at least, but. Oh god. Oh jeez, on oh, no. her. God, everyone wants to spot this hill. Well, there's enough Cromwell to go around. There is not enough Cromwell to go around. I think it's time to leave. Just firing wildly at this point, hoping for the best. It's not an ideal situation to be in at all. But I think giving up ground here <coughs> is going to be the way to go. There's, there's four tanks on this side, and to be fair, meaning it's T-3485, I'll be honest, I feel like we're doing a heroic fucking job of holding back all of these guys. Although, obviously, I can't shoot for Toffee, so... <coughs> I'm just kind of firing and hoping for the best right now, aren't I? Right. It's on like a Nintendo copyrighted ape. Hill secured. Might actually go for the cap. <laughs> hey little dude. Okay, this is This is going okay. Jeez. Okay. I don't care. I'll be honest. I don't care if we win this. I'm just happy that... I guess... We've got this sort of team play going on that's pretty awesome. I think I'm with the T-30. It goes to the T-3485. Pencil H is obviously my best friend in this game. But 
235 is also my best friend. Sometimes you've got to decide who is more of your best friend. And I think... To be honest, oh no! T-34! Oh no! Come to full H, come back, I'm sorry! <laughs> Here, this is not. Come on, put the speed on. Yep, whatever. God, I love that handbrake. I know it's not a handbrake, but. Very ambitious, but if I get it, someone shot me. That other camera. Fuck! <laughs> Damn it! Oh well, that was fun. We lost, but it was fun, and that's what counts.